Isa, welcome to Life Forever Fit. I'm so glad you stopped here at this channel to take a look at this video. And I'm going to share with you a hike I did with my brother and the amazing thing that we saw, the Brock Inspector. Those are our shadows, Alia. I went to visit my family. I'm from Brazil. My family lives in Curitiba, Paraná. So let me show you where that is. So this is the southern part of Brazil. There's three states there, which would be Paraná, Santa Catarina, and Rio Grande do Sul. So um, we are from Paraná, and Curitiba is right there. That's the capital. And as you go closer, you will see that uh, between Curitiba and the Atlantic Ocean, there is this huge green area here, which is the Atlantic Forest. Uh, we call it over there Serra do Mar. Serra do Mar means the Sierra of the Sea, something like that. And there is beautiful mountains that separate the ocean from Curitiba. So actually you literally go from a higher level in Curitiba, you go down the mountains. So when we say we're going down the coast, that's exactly what we mean. Um, it's very fascinating and you don't need to travel far from Curitiba to get into a very nice hike. Um, to visit the mountains, the higher mountains here in this mountainous area between Curitiba and the ocean, you need a good weekend to get something done and it's messy, it's in the middle of the boonies, it's really nothing there so you gotta really be prepared for that type of hiking. But because we didn't have much time and my brother has three kids, the youngest there is seven, uh, we wanted to do something that she could do as well, so we decided to just go outside Curitiba, which was about a 45 minute drive, really, let me just zoom closer, and you will see that it's just a matter of taking the highway 116 towards Piraquara, and you go off the highway into the green, literally, and there you will find a hill called Morro Pão de Ló. It's not the highest at all, considering here um, the foothills. It's actually lower than Pico do Anhangava, which is a very nice place to go as well. But Morro Pondula is very unique because from there you have a beautiful view of all the mountains, like Pico do Marumbi, Pico do Paraná. You can see them very clearly from Morro Pondula. So we went there and it's about, like I said, a 45 minute drive and a 45 minute to one hour hike. So the Brock Inspector is a phenomena that you can have pretty much anywhere. As long as you have light in the back, an object, and fog or cloud in front of the object. So the light will then project a shadow of this object, could be you, in the cloud. And what's really interesting, um, you may have a halo of light around it. So if you see this picture here, you can see these people here, right? Reflecting, this is the shadow, and there is a halo of light. So the sun was setting, here's the mountains, right? This is the east part, and beyond these mountains, the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And obviously behind us, the sun was setting in the west side. So there is me, my brother, and his kids on the top of this mountain, and there's a lot of fog, and guess what? The sun is projecting our shadow on the fog. And because the clouds were rolling in really fast, so every time the clouds were kind of like coming towards you, the Brock Inspector was coming towards you as well. So it was really fantastic. So we are getting closer. So finally we're able to actually see. Okay, against the sun, I don't think if I'm gonna be able to. That is Pico do Paraná, Leo. Beautiful. All right, so show us what you can do, Wendell, right? There we go. Yeah, yes, now it's seriously uphill. Ooh. See, I can't believe it's coming in Gava. I can't go against the sun, bummer. Eh, not too bad. Let's do a little climb here from my perspective. E aí, Wendel, onde estamos? Pão de Ló. Pão de Ló. E onde é o Pão de Ló? Ali. Estamos chegando, né? Olha só. 
And one more time, the view is gorgeous, but I just see jungle here, so jungle it is. Okay, so far the hike has been quite reasonable. I don't think this is a challenging hike. It's pretty much laid out for you, so just behind us was a track with quite some tall, um, call it maybe, how you say that, tall steps, really high. Oh man, look at this! <sighs> oh my word. <laughs> my seven, my six, the six year old is kind of pushing me, imagine that. She's six, no kidding. Now this is something really cool. The clouds are literally running over, spilling over the hill. Huh? That is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so for a moment, my nephew just kind of took the main trail while Aldo had taken the, another trail and kind of didn't wait for us. <laughs> so suddenly we realized we were in the wrong direction. Anyway, whoo, so we made it. So this is the deal. The clouds, and they come up, they come up really quick. See, as I showed earlier there, they were just literally rolling over the hill. It's beautiful, but you could lose the view in like minutes and could be gone. So right now it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word, I love this. Photographer. Woo! And as the clouds come forward, it forms a rainbow around it. Ha! Almost looks like a ghost. <laughs> well, <a> couple. <laughs> oh yeah! It's like my position, you know? Oh, there it comes again. It seems like there's people in the other side. Oh my goodness, this is so nice! There we go. Hello, the other me there. <laughs> wow. Aldo, como é que é o nome desse efeito aí? Como é o nome desse efeito? Broccoli. Que? Broccoli. Olha ali, ó. Ó. Oh. Those are our shadows. Ali, ó. Eu aqui. A mãozinha do... Quem que tá balançando a mão ali atrás? O Wendel balançando a mão dele atrás de mim. E daí quando forma uma, já tá formando outra. Oh my gosh.
go. That's the sunset. Oh gosh. <laughs> but we love her. She's a good trooper. There we go. The clouds are rolling in. And we saw some amazing things today. Some things that even Aldo never seen before. Right, Vendo? Where is he? Yay, ready to go. Oh, I will never forget this day. Oh, yeah. Alright, All right, down we go. And the beauty continues. The clouds rolling in. There they come. And pretty much, pretty soon we don't see anything. And we leave the beauty behind us in the clouds. Nice, huh? Now, Wendell, what's the deal? Stay in my shoe. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Head lamps on. Uh -oh. And here we go. It's getting like, you know, all that beautiful clear sky, all gone. Yeah, it is now 6 p.m. So it will just get darker and darker and darker. Okay, Wendell. Nadja, ta com medo? No, ne? Well, if a kid can do this, <laughs> that says it all, right? All right, here we go, guys. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm a Mushima. I was just gonna try to film a little bit my descent. I hate going down. Okay, I don't think we can see anything anymore. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was really a gift from God, literally, to see this because there is no way that you can predict if this is gonna happen or not. So I felt really, really blessed to get up there and just see this beautiful effect so really cool so i hope you enjoy it and uh, share the video with whoever you think might be interesting and i hope one day you will have um the blessing of seeing this as well so thank you so much for watching and until my next adventure see you then